Acevedo and I am in the class, I'm um, directing class on um, Mr. Beanstra. And the play that we're going to present is called Next. And the situation that is going on is this man of uh, 48 years old has just received a call from the government asking him to go and have a physical to decide if he's going to be in the army or not. But he's not very happy about it. So let us see really what happens. Next. Oh, that, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of mistake. I mean, for crying out loud. The government does not make mistakes. If the government called you, it has its reasons. Can I have your card, please? Card? Um, I, I was just thinking, you know, I mean, <laughs> I, I, there must have a big mistake. What? That's it. Oh, that, that's my card? Oh. Is your name Marion Cheever? <sighs> you know, oh, uh, yes, uh, Marion Cheever, that's my name. But you know what I was thinking? I'm 48 years old. I just had a birthday, and I'm not supposed strip. to... Strip! Strip! <laughs> what? Who do you think you are? I am your examining officer, Sergeant Tech. And if you have not begun to strip in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to stamp these as fit for duty. Well, um, <clears throat> do you think that's fair? Would you prefer not to strip? Yes, of course. Then I guess I'll just stamp these as... No, 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 don't, don't strip it. No, don't, please, please, please. I'll strip. Go behind there. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I'm old, and, and I really, I'm not in good health at all, so I don't, you're wasting if your time. If you have not begun to strip in the next ten seconds, I'm going to stamp these forms as fit for duty. Your name? Mary and Cheever. Do you spell Mary with an O? I do. Age? Forty. Eight. Sex? What do you think? <laughs> Color of hair? Brown, black, rag, blackish brown. Eyes? Uh, green, kind of aqua, brown. <laughs> Your occupation? I'm a dancer. <laughs> Toe or tap? Toe or tap? Now I'm the fine arts theater, man theater manager downtown. Toe, Toe or tap? How long is what? <laughs> how long have you been the assistant manager of the Oh, how long have I been the assistant manager? Um, about 10 or 12 years. 12 years. Your marital status? Uh, single. Well, not really. I'm divorced. How many guess, times? Uh, twice. Your number of dependents? Three. Uh, three girls. Sex? I said three girls. Ages? 14, 12, and uh, two. Two by my first wife and one by my second. Did you finish grammar school? Yes, I did. High school? Yes! College? Well, I didn't quite get around to that. You belong to a church? A church? Um, yeah. Which denomination? <laughs> the uh, Sacred Heart of um, Jesus. Which denomination? <laughs> <laughs> what denomination? Does it sound like a temple? Uh, a Roman Catholic. Of course. Do you attend church? Yes, of course. Regularly? 
Or occasionally. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> regularly or occasionally, Mr. Cheever? Uh, um, regularly. <laughs> On occasion. <laughs> <laughs> measles? What? Measles? Have you ever had the measles? No. Chicken pox? Chicken pox. I don't think I've had chicken pox. No, of course not. Whooping cough? Well, I had a bad cough one time. I think it might have been yes. whooping cough. Yes, oh, no. No, I, I don't think it was whooping cough. <laughs> rheumatic fever? Uh, now, it might have been rheumatic fever. I don't know. It was really bad. You see, I mean, I was almost on. Mumps? Dying. Yes, I had mumps. I had mumps. Really, really bad. I almost had my last strike. No, let me tell you about my mumps. They were really, really bad. They were horrible. I was almost on you're not taking my mumps very seriously. Venereal disease. Venereal disease. <laughs> Bite your tongue. I allergies. had mumps. Allergies. Well, are you allergic to anything? Uh, yes. Um, as a matter of fact, it's going to sound crazy, but I'm allergic to peach fuzz. <laughs> I, I, I get like a balloon every time I get around it. Anything else? Every time I, I can't even get near a fruit stand. Any history of epilepsy? You're not taking my peach fuzz very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a family history of diabetes? Well, I'm sure I have a big family. Why not? Yes. Cancer? <laughs> Bite your tongue again. Nervous or mental disorders? I'm a nervous wreck. Do you smoke? Yes. Yes. Uh, what, what was the first thing you asked me when I came in here? How much? Uh, three packs a day. Uh, so 20 in a pack. That's 60 cigarettes a day. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of smoking. Good grief. Do you drink? Yes. Just just all the time I drink. <laughs> How much? Uh, whenever I smoke. <laughs> smoking makes me want to drink, and drinking makes me want to smoke. It's a vicious cycle. Do you take any drugs? Yes, give me some drugs and I'll take them. <laughs> Name the drugs. Uh, Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> uh, hangover helper. <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, Valium. Lots of Valium. For what purpose? Because I'm a nervous wreck. I told you. <laughs> uh, On the table, please. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I've been hard to cooperate with, but I know you have your job to do, and, and I... And I it is when you ask first. <laughs> Your butt is showing. What? Your hearing is perfect. <laughs> I will not be railroaded like that. Mr. Cherry, Mr. Would you read this chart, please? Which, uh, which, which, where? What chart? That, oh. Third line. Toasty. <laughs> Have you ever suffered from night terrors? 
Oh, yes, all the time. Insomnia? Yes, insomnia, because of the night terrors. Keep walking. When I get up each morning, my ankles are so swollen, I know I sleepwalk. Anxiety states? Yes. Oh, now, stay on this subject. Now, this is where I'm really bad. Hallucinations. Oh, of grandeur, of, of, of horrible grandeur. Delusions. Uh, isn't that the same thing? No, we got to go back to the anxiety, because I have a bad problem with that. Impulsive eating? You know, I don't think I've had a problem with that, but I need to tell you about my anxiety attack. What is your responsibility to your community? To shovel snow. What is your responsibility to your family? To be there. What is your responsibility to your country? To be there. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cheever, you may go now. The examination is over. So, what, what is it? Am, am I 4F? Am I rejected already? I don't think you have anything to worry about. I doubt if the government would ever find someone like you acceptable. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what, what's the basis for that? Next! Or definitely distinct opposites, as you'll see.